So this is going to be my first review of a digital multimeter with a Bluetooth functionality. Some say it's just a gimmick and uh, others say it is going to help to transform your digital multimeter into a very useful data logger. So let's see. It is a true RMS multimeter with 4.5 digit display, 21,999 counts and an analog bar graph. It is designed for anyone who is into electronics. It comes packed in a soft carrying bag alongside with test leads, K-Tab thermocouple, alligator clips, a multifunctional adapter and a quick user guide. Like any other digital multimeter, it can measure AC and DC voltages, AC and DC current, resistance. It can perform diode and continuity tests, measure capacitance and temperature. Using the select button you can switch between different functions like AC and DC. The range button gives you manual control over the measurements range whenever you need it. Frequency and duty cycle have their own buttons, you can easily switch between them while measuring voltage for example, which is very helpful when you are working with microcontrollers or PWM signals. The min-max function lets you capture fluctuations or voltage drops and the rail mode allows you to compare readings or zero out the resistance of your test leads. So far it's a solid multimeter but now we are going to flip on the switch and turn on Bluetooth. You can connect the B41T Plus with your phone, with a tablet or a PC and uh, since I haven't done it yet, we are going to find out together how it works. Um, a few things that I'm excited to check is the how easy is it to work, how is it going to work with the data logger, um, what does it mean this uh, offline recordings and uh, what is this smart voice reading. I mean, those are really big terms over there that Ovon put, so I would like to check them out. The first thing that we are going to do is to scan this QR code with the phone and then press the button here and then they are going to connect together and going to be logging everything that we are going to do. That's perfect. And hey, if you want to get your hands on the Owen B41T Plus, you can find it at TME.eu. But not only, at TME you'll find thousands of high quality components from trusted brands and 96% of the orders are fulfilled at the same day. So you can get started on your projects without delay. By scanning the QR code you get redirected to Owen's website which gives us link to Play Store. By the way, it also works on iOS without any problems. This part of the installation we are going to speed up. On the meter we have to turn on the Bluetooth mode and on the smartphone we add a new device. Of course we need to give the app all the needed permissions for it to work properly but at least it's not asking us to turn on the location and access to the camera. Anyways, here on the list I was expecting to see B41T+. But it took me a while to understand that digital multimeter is named as BDM. So at this first screen we can see that the phone is mirroring exactly what we choose and do on the multimeter. In the next screen, the data chart, we can observe how the measurements are taken and the chart is very interactive. In the settings you can change the record intervals, record count and check other settings like this a few times options or change the theme from dark to light of course, this is a, a must option in every app right now. Going back to the data chart screen we can see that the effects of the changes that we have made Let's save them and check if we can open them. Here we have the offline records, we will get back to it later. In the online records we can open our file and review the results, which is pretty easy.
Okay, so after reading the manual a few times, we found out the way on how to do the offline recordings. Anyways, we press the start record, choose record interval and counts, and press start to record. As you can see, the device is disconnected for the period to preserve the battery life, and when it will finish the recording period, the meter will beep. To retrieve the data from the device, because it was saved into its memory, we need to press Read Recordings, download them, and then in Read File screen, we have our offline measurements. And lastly, let's check the smart voice reading. 24.5 degree. Okay. 24.6 degree. 35.1 degree. So is Bluetooth in a multimeter is just a gimmick? I mean, once you start logging, graphing and going wireless, it changes the way that you work. You can watch the voltage changes across the lab or you can track down the temperature without babysitting the monitor. The Obon B41T Plus is, um, is a good choice for this. It's not, it's not a flashy multimeter, but it works and it works well and you know where to get yours in TME.eu.